hey, listen, I like to make these interactive. And so if you can do me a favor, you'll see that webinar control software up. It should probably still be in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. And hanging off of the left-hand edge of that webinar control software is this vertical array of maybe three or four buttons. And the bottom button is a hand raising button. So if you would, please raise your hand. I'd like to see how many people are engaged and going here. Excellent, excellent. Thank you for raising your hand. Wonderful, wonderful. And then go ahead and put your hand down. You'll notice, by the way, when your hand is up that that little button changes shape. And then when your hand goes back down, it changes shape again. So that's how you can keep track of whether your hand is up or not. But I like to ask questions throughout the uh, webinar to see who's, uh, who's engaged and who's not, as well as to see, uh, I've always found that being part of uh, a discussion, you get more out of it than actually uh, going for it. Now, last time um, I presented with Renee, I went over my time. I was at an hour and 15, and so I got to be really disciplined. So I'm going to speak really fast. So if you could do me a favor, please make sure you've got your pen or pencil ready. Pen if you're really confident, and let's take some notes. What I'm talking about today is uh, doing some diagonal trades. Now I'm doing special diagonal trades and I'm doing them on uh, covered call writing candidates. Let me go in a little bit further. Why would I do this? Um, well, first of all, uh, I've got this program that I'm uh, just now starting to uh, release again. Um, we've got some openings. Uh, I call it the 6% protocol. Now, why do I call it the 6% protocol? I call it the 6% protocol because if you focus on 6% per month, adding to your portfolio, then through compound interest, you will double your money every year. Now, why is that important? Let me just show a slide really quick. Some of you are here because you want to be professional traders. Some of you want to be a hobbyist trader. And some of you are more on the focus of wanting to, um, it, it's more, the trading is more of a means to an end. It's not a journey for you. It's more of a destination. It's a way that you can set up um, some really nice, consistent profits. Let me ask this. How many with the show of hands are here? Um, because you want to be a professional trader. Raise your hands. Okay, very good. I'm going to put your hands down. How many with the show of hands are here because you would like to uh, do this as a hobby? You got nothing better to do? All right, that is very much fair. I'm going to put your hands down. And how many with the show of hands are actually here because this is a means to an end for you? You're actually doing this in order to um, get some income in and that's so that you could do other stuff. You don't want to spend any more time doing a job, things like that. Fantastic. Okay. You're probably the folks that I'm speaking to uh, because I've had a lot of people who have come to me uh, in their you know, like my age, mid 40s, uh, um, all the way up into their, you know, 55, 60. And they say, you know, I haven't prepared for my retirement. What the heck do I do? Right. And so I say 6% protocol. 6% protocol is uh, if you are asked, should you take $50,000 in a bulk sum today or a penny that doubles every day for a month, which would you do? And here's where you can tell if you're disciplined or not. And I've often been called the, the most disciplined options trader, right? Let's do the math. One cent, two cent, four cent, eight cent, 16 cent, 32 cent. By day seven, one week's gone by, we're up to 64 cents. Now that's not very much money. A lot of work for the first seven days and there's not much payback. Day eight, day nine, 
10 days in, we're up to $5.12. We're almost a third of the way through the month. Going to speed it up a little bit. 10 more days go by. Wait a second. We're up, can you believe it, at $5,242.88. All of a sudden, around day 24, you can see that right here. I'll go ahead and circle it. We're already at $83,886.08. That's more than the $50,000. But in the beginning of the month, I had to go with really paltry gains, and I had to be very disciplined. Now, all of a sudden, on the back end of the month, Things are starting to make sense. In fact, by the end of the month, if you took the penny a day, that doubles. You're at $21,474,836.48. Einstein said it, or at least he's attributed as saying it, compound interest, it's the most powerful force in the universe. All right, so this is where discipline comes really enhanced. I've heard a lot of courses today that people are talking about just that, the discipline behind this all. So I have the 6% protocol program that I'm running right now. It's a screener, it's education, and it's availability of me to answer your questions. Pretty straightforward. In fact, I wanna take as little of your time as possible, but one thing we're doing, so let me let me just get out of here and show you the access here. So people get into this learning community web portal, they see a picture of yours truly. Let me zoom in uh, from 10 years ago when I was in my late 30s. And so maybe I look a little bit older now. And we have our 6% protocol screener here. And we get these candidates as we go back here that, on the basics, we could do a buy right, and we can even protect it with a put from the downside, which is very important right now because as the market consolidates, how many of you have to show of hands? Let me put your hands down first. Have noticed that the market is consolidating. Not only is it consolidating, but the volume has dropped, which means traders are not trading. They're sitting on the sidelines waiting for something to happen. They're waiting for all those expectations to turn into something tangible. And then you look over at the secondaries market and you can see that there's a ton of implied volatility growing, meaning traders are overbuying insurance in the derivatives market to protect themselves from some sort of break. How many of the show of hands have noticed that? How many of the show of hands would like a little hint here? So the next piece of the puzzle, let me, let me stop what I'm doing here with my existing presentation. I'm watching the clock because I have a tendency to be, to get distracted as a lot of people do. So what I'm talking about here, I'm just gonna use my chalkboard here. I'm talking about when you see a price pattern consolidate and at the same time, you're starting to see volume decay. This means that your investors and your traders, instead of being in the market, they're sitting on the sidelines watching. And then we come over here to the volatility market, which is basically played out in the derivatives, like the options that I trade or the futures. These things are used to hedge risk, right? And so all of a sudden, you see that the purchases of options and futures to hedge against surprise volatility is going up. The price of those things is going up. That means all these traders that are sitting on the sidelines waiting to see what happens in the main markets are over here as well, investing in insurance. That's where we are right now. Then all of a sudden, what you're gonna look for, by the way, this is an opportunity right here. When you get in as the IV is rising, that's an opportunity. And that's why I like trading derivatives. How many with the show of hands have any experience with derivatives like options and futures? Excellent, excellent. How many of the show of hands are mostly trading things like uh, Forex or you're trading stocks or you're trading commodities? Okay, just as a side discussion, 
any trading, whether it's baseball cards, stocks, options, commodities, foreign exchange currencies, it comes down to this. You look for patterns somewhere, whether it's in charts, whether it's in fundamentals, whether it's in graphs, you look for patterns, then you apply strategies to profit from those patterns. And it's all about matching the strategy to the pattern. A lot of people come to me and they're like, AJ, all I want to do is, and they'll name some esoteric option strategy. They'll name like a, they'll say, I want to do condors, iron condors. I've heard the, that is a weird mentality. And the reason why is, is you're trying to learn a strategy without matching it to the pattern. It's ass backwards. And I don't mean to be rude, but those are the folks that then come to me and they say, hey, I've been writing covered calls. I learned how to write covered calls. I ran, wrote covered calls for 10 months straight and I made like seven to 10% every month. And then something happened on the 10th month. I write, wrote my covered calls and the market went against me. And not only did I lose all the money I made the first 10 months, I lost half of my initial investment. What did I do wrong? How many with the show of hands have ever heard of a story like that? Absolutely. How many of you with the show of hands, that might have happened to you once? And now you've sworn off options. Absolutely. Well, let me tell you that there's only one flaw to all of that, and that is instead of looking for what the market is doing and then applying the correct option strategy, you went backwards and you said, I've got an option strategy and I'm going to apply it to the market. The market, sadly, does not bend over backwards for anybody. How many with the show of hands agree? How many of you with the show of hands have been able to get the market to do what you want to do? A couple of you are putting your hands up. So what that tells me is that you've got big bank rolls and you're able to move the market. But for the rest of us, truth be told, you can't tell the market what to do. So you instead, you have to observe the market and you have to ride on the coattails of the patterns you find. All right, and that works for anything. And there's actually another component and that is once you've identified a pattern in the market, the next thing you need to do is decide how confident you are that that pattern is going to play out. Because the combination of identifying the pattern and the confidence will then tell you what strategy you're going to use to profit from it, the timing, you know, entries and exits, and actually it will tell you whether or not you're going to have a yes or no. Should I do this or shouldn't I? The reason why I like options and I'll tell you this, please listen carefully, is because instead of just having two strategies to choose from, short it or go long, you know, buy and hope to sell at a higher price or sell and hope to buy back at a lower price, each one makes profits. I'm always buying high, buying low and selling high. I also have the ability to choose up to 25 different other ways to profit from the market. With options, I can profit whether the market's going up or down, but also if it goes sideways. In fact, with options, I can profit on time passing by. In fact, with options, I can profit, like we see here, when implied volatility, when people are starting to expect something's going to happen and start buying hedges in the derivatives market, I can profit on that too. So I have 28 different ways to profit instead of just two. So a lot of times I don't have this yes, no decision. Instead it's how do we profit from the pattern we recognize? And I can almost 100% of the time find a way to profit so long as I recognize the patterns. Now. It's just a pa an idea of matching the correct option trading strategy to the patterns that I recognize. So 
consolidation combined with decaying volume combined with seeing an increase of price in the derivatives market. The next thing that we look for is when the traders start to come back into the main market, there's still no price action. It continues to consolidate, but now the volume starts to increase. What you've got now is you've got the investors equally pushing on either side of you. How many of you at the show of hands have ever in your life arm wrestled? Raise your hand. Okay, I'm gonna put your hands back down. How many of you at the show of hands have never arm wrestled? Of those people who have never arm wrestled, have you ever seen in a movie or seen somebody arm wrestle? Here's what you get. You get these two forces pushing hard on each other and you see their faces. They're exerting so much energy, but they're not going anywhere. And at some point, when you get to that point where they're all putting all the force they can and they're not going anywhere, somebody flinches for some reason. It could be that they have a scratch on their nose. It could be that a person who looks really uh, eye-catching walks by and catches their eyes. It could be that you just get fatigued, but for some reason, one person flinches for a second and when there's so much force applied by the other person, the market goes one way or the other. So what we're looking for now is that we see that increase of volume. As soon as you see that increase in volume, you're now ready to see the downside or upside break. And that's what we're looking for here at Trading Trainer. That's the name of my education company right now. But in the meantime, my 6% protocol folks are trading diagonals instead of covered calls on their covered call writing candidates. Let me explain that to you because that's kind of cool because we're making double digit returns. I told you what happens if you make 6% a month. You make 6% a month, you're gonna double your money every year. Take for instance, a tax-free environment uh, retirement account like a Roth for those of us in the States. I think you can contribute five grand per year into that a little bit more if you're older. Do the math, five grand this year, work on 6% per month, that's what we do. Most of us do better. It'll double, 10 grand, add the next five, make it 15. Year two, you're gonna have 30, add the next five, it's 35. Year number three, 70, so on and so forth. Our retirement program is based on the idea that in 10 years, you'll have over $10 million. Because I have to tell you, when I was young, being a millionaire, everybody was, oh my God, you're a millionaire. Nowadays, millionaires are a dime a dozen. How many of you with the show of hands agree? Absolutely. What's important now is to be a 10 millionaire. See, here's what I want my folks to do. And actually, I've been doing this. Trading Trainer is the name of my company. We've been teaching people this stuff since 2003. I even have a side business where we teach inner city kids in Chicago to do this same thing so that we can get them off the streets. We have folks, and you can see them as testimonials on our website, that have been doing this and they follow the recipe. And what happens if you have $10 million? Then you could put your money into a very simple mutual fund or an ETF. What's 3%? If you earn 3% a year on $10 million, how many of the show of hands came up with $300,000? Yeah, right? Who could live on $300,000 a year? In fact, that's probably more than you need to live on. And it's the best part is, is if you then, say for instance, you take $75,000 to live for a year, you take the rest of that 300,000, you put it back with the 10 million and it's gonna continue to grow. It's called creating a golden goose 
Let's see, I think I have a little slide on this. Creating a golden goose that pays golden eggs. You don't want to kill your goose, but you grow your goose over a 10 year period. Most of us do it in about seven years because we make better returns than 6%, but 6% is a doable, reachable goal with option tradings. In fact, the other thing that's kind of cool is in less than four years, say you don't want to wait 10 years, in less than four years, if you want to continue with the option trading piece, instead of just put it on cruise control and have a retirement program, you can generate $101,219.65 per year. That's more than one of the top paying computer programming jobs out there pays a year. And what's so cool about that, of course, is that you don't have to sit in front of your computer nine to five. All right, so what's this whole diagonal strategy about? So a covered call, let me just explain a covered call really quick. For those of you, a lot of you do know it. I'm gonna take my chalkboard here. I'm gonna erase it. So a covered call is where we purchase a stock and then we sell a near-term call against it. It basically reduces our cost basis. It's kind of like getting a coupon. And usually what we try to do with our screener, see our screener is the key to our service on the 6% protocol. It goes through about 7,000 different securities and their related options, which comes out to about 35,000 lines of data every night. And it sifts through and it finds the best candidates. So we get the stocks at about a 10% discount. And at the end of the month, the coupon expires and we either get cashed out of our stock for the full value or we wind up just getting that coupon discounted from the price and doing it again. There is a downside risk so we can buy ourselves some protection. So these are some P&L diagrams, but a covered call looks something like this when you're talking about profit and loss. And usually we like to operate either here in what we call our profit triangle or anywhere here in the pure profit zone. And then if we want to hedge, we can put a put somewhere just to make sure that our risk is much lower. Yeah? Now, that's all well and good, but we can actually turbocharge these covered calls. And we can make that put be more affordable. Because right now, like I mentioned, there is a downside risk in our overall market. So we want to make money whether we go up, down, or sideways in these things. And a lot of times we want to set ourselves up so that if it does go down, we can make even more money and turn this covered call writing strategy on its head because a lot of times if you're not doing it correctly, the covered call will make you bend over if there's a downside move. In this case, we're going to actually make the downside move work for us. So. Instead of a stock, what we're going to do is change this strategy around. And I'm going to show you how to modify the strategy. And then I'm going to tell you how to do it so that you can go and I recommend paper trade it till you see how it works and then pull it in real money. How many of you with the show of hands are ready for this explanation? All right, so let's start with the stock. The stock is our main investment, and it's what costs the most in our cost basis. Is there a replacement for the stock? In this case, you have to understand option theory a little bit. It could take me hours, and I only have 20 minutes left. So let me simplify it for you. When it comes to an option, it's consist. there's a price. You look it up on the board just like you look up the stock. It's going to have a price associated with it. Let's say that it's about a dollar. 
Now each option, that price consists of two components. One component is called our premium. Some people call it time value. The academics call it extrinsic value. I don't like the time value component uh, name just because it's more than time value, but I like premium or extrinsic value. And then it's got what's called the intrinsic value as well. The intrinsic value, you guys taking notes? How many of you show your hands have your pen and paper poised? Good. The intrinsic value component by definition is the value of the option when it expires the value of the option when it expires that's the intrinsic value that's a lot of people call the hard value of the option and then the premium is that emotional component that comes along with options that decays away as you get closer and closer to the time it expires. That emotional component is very hard to predict because it's got a lot of different variables going into it. It's got the time component, it's got the component around people getting scared that the market's gonna do something. It's very hard to predict. The intrinsic value, very easy to predict. It moves one to one with the stock, okay? Once the option is in the money. What's neat about this is the premium hangs out around the strike price of the option. As you get farther away, either out of the money or in the money, there's less and less premium and it's left to be all intrinsic value. Also, as we go farther out in time with expiration, number one, the premium isn't affected. And you're just gonna have to take my word on this. The premium isn't affected by time decay. So each day that passes by doesn't affect the premium price as much as if it was near term, meaning it's gonna expire in the, you know, the fourth or third Friday of the month. And also, there's not a lot of focus on the far out in time options to use them as hedges. Usually, for instance, if we're gonna hedge the market against something happening in the next week or two, we're gonna use the May or even the June, maybe even the April option that expires in two days. We're not gonna use options out in time. So we're gonna substitute this stock. And I'm gonna show you in a real life example. We're gonna substitute this stock with a far out in time, and I'm talking about 2019 expiration leap, and deep in the money. So let's pull up, and I'm gonna show you some free websites you can go to. Let's bring back my browser window. Watching the clock, because I know I gotta be on time. Chicago Board of Options Exchange website, go to quotes and data. Delayed quotes is all you need. Let's visit a stock, and the stock that we're gonna visit is Caterpillar, ticker C-A-T. And we're gonna look at the option chain. At the same time, I'm gonna come back to my member portal. I'm gonna pull up my charting software. You don't have to use my charting software. Uh, I'm, I just know it very well. Uh, you can use whatever charting software you like. Give it a couple seconds to load. And we want to pick this stock, this the, something that is going to either, we want something that looks like it's going sideways. Now, Caterpillar as I explain, expand this to full screen for ourselves, looks like it's going sideways. It's got support, it's got resistance. I don't need you to do heavy technical analysis here. You just need to make sure it's going sideways. Because again, we're gonna be protected on the top and the bottom, all right? So why don't we apply this strategy? 
The idea is that I don't want to pay $94 for stock. That's too expensive to do covered call writing against. So instead, let's find one of these substitute leaps and create for ourselves this diagonal, okay? Because this is going to turn, let's just make sure we look at this a little bit. If I look at these options, if I was to go out to the May 19th monthly option, and I was to do a covered call at about $90, I would make four dollars and it would it would be a discount of four dollars and sixty cents pull up the calculator four dollars and sixty cents divided by a ninety dollar cost basis roughly and it's about a five percent return but what if i instead of using that ninety two dollar stock i come out here to january 2019 and I have to go deep, deep, deep in the money. How deep do you go? We want to look for where there's no premium left, no extrinsic value left. Ready for the formula? How many with the show of hands are ready for the formula? We're going to take the current trading price of the stock. So if I look at the stock price again up at the top here, it says the stock is trading at about $93.66. And we're going to separate out the strike price, $93.66 minus, let's go with this $60 call minus $60. That means that the intrinsic value should be $33.66. So all I did was I took the stock price and I subtracted the strike price. What I'm looking for is that should be the current price of the option. Current price of the Caterpillar January 2019, $60 strike price is somewhere between 32, 20 and 36 almost right there. I could go deeper if I wanted to, but how many of you with a show of hands see that it's much more valuable for me if instead of paying $92 or $93.66, I pay only $33.66 for the underlying symbol. Who sees that? So we actually are creating for ourselves a covered call on steroids or more accurately, a diagonal, where the back month is a deep in the money leap, and the front month are, are near-term options. So let's figure that out. We said that the May 19, $90 is trading at about $4.60. Our cost basis is now $33.66. And we just bumped up the return on this particular covered call to 14%, 13.7%. Because that leap that we chose is going to move dollar for dollar with the stock, but it's just at a lower cost basis. Now, with that 13%, I can easier afford a protective put. The put is going to protect me on the downside. I can buy a put at 85. I could buy a put at 90. I like to use the actual monthlies. So how about we pay for a dollar fifty-seven, somewhere between a dollar fifty-seven and a dollar seventy-two, 
maybe put it out there for $1.60. We're now protected below $87.50. Our risk is almost nothing. We can do these all day and all night, earning between 8 and even 20% every month. This is how you can take your normal covered call writing strategy and you can put it on steroids. So let me type it out for you. I, by the way, I like these type of presentations a little bit better where we actually do real examples than the type of presentations where it's all just slides. So if you ever work with me, you'll notice that. I like to look at the real things and I like to learn while I earn. So number one, find a underlying candidate that is channeling sideways. Number two, Look up a deep in the money, far out in time leap. Pick one where the stock price minus the option strike price is the current option price. For those of you that are kind of nerdy, that's called parity. Find an option that's at parity. Number three, sell near term calls, near term at the money, calls as if you were writing covered calls against a stock for profit every month. And number four, protect your downside with a put that is one or two months out. And then earn your eight to 20% every month. Now there's of course money management and portfolio sizing. I don't have time to go through that. If you come to our 6% protocol program, I can show you that. In fact, I got a free video series that you're welcome to, to go through that uh, will do that. But I also have a little bit of a offer to get you into the 6% protocol. We're running a special right now. The folks that are in there right now are paying $99 per month. But we're running a special right now that allows you to get in there for six months at $497. So that's at a discount of over $100. And you work with me for six months, you'll see the power behind this. So I have for you a special URL that I set up this morning. Let's see if I can get it to show up. And so you'll get the screener, which saves a bunch of time. It picks these candidates for you that are the highest probability. And then you can apply the strategy that I just explained today. And if you have any sort of questions, you can either private message me or during the live webinars, you can, we have live question and answer. I stay on until all questions have been answered. So either way, I'll handhold you through your trades. There's even a guarantee. The guarantee is at the end of six months, if you haven't made money, not only will I give you your 497 back, I'll give you an additional 497 back. I'll pay it out of my pocket. And that's how much I know that this works. I've actually got quite a few folks who have been working with me 
since we launched this in 2008, doing this exact strategy with this exact screener. Here's the URL. Six PP dot today forward slash two thousand seventeen April nineteen. And sadly it is case sensitive and we put that A capital. So make sure you capitalize the month. Renee's gone ahead and put that link into the chat area. And I urge you all to check it out. And I urge you to come and at least subscribe to the free video series that talks about money management and how to size these positions. You're going to wind up, if you follow this protocol, you're going to wind up doing about three or four trades per month. And that's going to completely That's going to completely work it out. I was looking over at the questions here. Starting with how much to get $10 million in 10 years. I'm talking about doing $5,000 Roth IRA per month. I mean, not per month. You can only put in $5,000 per year. And what's interesting, and that's a good question, WG, What's interesting about that is around year four or five, you can stop investing the $5,000. It becomes insignificant. But in the beginning, it's critical. So in the first year, you got to start with $5,000. It's important to add $5,000 as you're working this process the second year, third year, even in the fourth year. But by the fifth year, adding $5,000 is like adding a penny to a $10 bill. Um, I've never traded options. How difficult will it be to follow the education instructions? Willie asks. Uh, for the 6% protocol, it's pretty straightforward. And again, any questions along the way, I answer all my questions. We have a special email node that is not blocked by spam and comes directly to me. And I will handhold you. If I have to, I'll call you on the phone and get you through it. If you sell a monthly at the money call, won't your leap be assigned and you have to produce stock? So there is a whole, just like in covered call writing, there is a whole uh, focus on how to sell the right call. And so those nuances we talk about in the program as well. That's a great, great question, Chuck. And there is a way to unwind the trade if that happens, but we work it through. And that's the end of my time. I can't believe I made it under time. I hope I see a whole bunch of you. In fact, I, I just implore you, if you're one of those people where this is the destination and it's not a journey and you just need to get that cash flow coming and you need a retirement program in 10 years and in four years, you don't want to be working whatever you're working right now. You'd rather have, you know, set your own hours, set your own location and just have the money coming in then the 6% protocol is a good program for you to follow. And again, my guarantee pays for itself.